Welcome back to JG Garage. In this video, I'll be trying out Detail 101 Super Rim and Tire. If you haven't heard of Detail 101, they are a fairly new car care company created by Royal Coatings NYC, based out of Brooklyn, New York, and they currently have five products in their line. Today, I'll be trying out their Super Rim and Tire, which is a non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. It actually kind of looks like Coke in the bottle. It says it dissolves brake dust and road grime on contact, and is safe for most wheel types, including factory painted alloy, clear coated, and chrome wheels. However, it does say not to spray on uncoated, polished, or anodized wheels. This product is 16 ounces and is proudly made and bottled here in the US. Alright, so let's try it out. So I'll be trying it out on this Toyota Corolla wheel, and it might be hard to see because of the color, but the face is quite dirty. Now the real test will be this barrel side, as it hasn't been cleaned in years, so we'll see how it does. The directions say to shake the product and spray it liberally onto the wheels. Then let it dwell on the surface for around 30 to 60 seconds, then rinse. The smell is not strong and smells just like a wheel cleaner. Not a bad smell nor a fragrant smell. I'm only using a garden hose and nozzle instead of a power washer so we can see how the product performs instead of the water pressure doing the cleaning. Without agitating, the wheel actually looks pretty good, but of course I'm still going to brush. Now onto the back side. Let's see how much brake dust we can rinse off with just spraying the wheel cleaner. You can see some brown dirt rinsing off from the tires, but not so much from the barrel. Maybe just a light layer of dirt has rinsed off, but we definitely need to brush as always. I'm actually surprised how easy the brake dust is coming off. It is a thick layer of brake dust, so I have to brush quite a bit with different brushes to get all the nooks and crannies.
Now let's rinse it off so we can see the difference. Wow, the difference is night and day. The wheel seems so much brighter. You can see that I missed some parts, but we'll go over those again. Now remember, this wheel barrel hasn't been cleaned in years, so this is quite satisfying. This wheel cleaner does seem to dissolve brake dust, as it easily breaks down once you start brushing the areas. As a tire cleaner, it does a good job as well. Here I'm going for a second pass, and the suds are now white compared to brown on the first pass, meaning the tire has been cleaned. Here's the final results and the wheel face is now nice and clean. Now here's the barrel side. Ignore this, this is just old leftover tape residue from the wheel weights. The barrel isn't 100%, but really close to it as there were some dirt that the cleaner or my brushing couldn't clean off. Probably with more brushing and more time, it would be perfect. But with reasonable time and brushing effort, it's quite impressive that this cleaner was able to clean this wheel this good. Overall, this Detail 101 Super Ribbon tire did its job. It was able to clean years of caked on brake dust and clean the tires pretty easily with no issues. So if you'd like to try this product or other Detail 101 products and support a new small company, head over to their website which I'll provide the link in the description down below. Also, you can get 15% off your order when you enter your email on their homepage. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.